very often in sandy or dusty places, sheltered places like this, you'll find, if you look carefully, little conical pits in the dust. And it's not obvious immediately what's made them, but they're the home of a very interesting little larval insect called an ant lion, for the very obvious reason that it eats uh, ants. And we can get one out and show you if we're very careful. You have to be careful because it's easy to squash them, but this is how I do it. Get a straw or a hollow piece of grass, and you can use that to blow the dust off the top of the ant lion and scoop him out with a piece of bark. That way you don't squash him. The place to blow is really in the middle of the pit. Here's, here's how we go. There he is. Got him. Let's get rid of some of that sand, you can see what he's doing. In fact, he's going backwards. You just steady him down there. And they're incapable of going forwards. It's an animal that just can't go forwards. And that's very useful when it's in the sand, because it, it goes backwards like that and uh, burrows down into the sand and also can drag its prey behind it with those enormous nippers on the front. You see those jaws there? It uses those for grasping ants. You can see they're spread wide at the moment. Grabs hold of the ant and uh, pulls it backwards with those and eats it. Also, that head is just beginning to flick a bit. That's what it does to bombard an ant with uh, sand grains when it's in the pit. It throws sand grains at it and knocks it down again. OK, turn him over. What do we see? All the legs underneath. It's got six because it's an insect. And that little flipping tail there, which is doing a bit of a dance, is what it uses to burrow backwards into the sand. Well, I've got a few more here. Let's put them all together and then drop them down on some fresh sand and you can see how they behave. And there they go. All of them moving off backwards and burrowing under the sand as hard as their little tails can dig them. One of them's a bit stuck. We'll just turn him over. Oh, here he goes. You might notice in the sand hills sometimes uh, you get these little trails that seem to go along under the sand. If you're very careful and dig them out, at the end you'll often find an ant lion. There they are, all but one vanished from view. And now I start to dig those little pits and lie and wait for an ant. And once they're under the surface there, they lie and wait, and the ant comes trundling along, falls in the pit, and can't get out because the sides are just too crumbly. Not only that, the ant lion bombards it with little pellets from underneath, and when eventually it falls into the middle, it gets grabbed in those jaws, dragged underneath, and eaten. Well, I said they were larval insects, so what do they turn into? In fact, it's a bit of a Beauty and the Beast story. Those rather horrendous little chaps turn into the most beautiful insects, uh, really, that you can imagine. They are things called lace wings. You might have noticed them on summer evenings. If you leave a light on outside, they come and cluster around it. They look a bit like dragonflies with wings uh, sloped back over the abdomen and rather jewel-like eyes. And they are uh, the adult form of the antlion. I want to know Curiosity